this is a t-test for slope, then most of the time we do t-tests for slope by looking for the t-score and the p-value in a table. If you want to do it directly in your calculator, you can if you have the data. So in this case, the explanatory variable in this case is the percentage of 16 to 19 year olds that are not in school and this is the death rate per 1000. So if you put this into list 1, the x values, and if you put the y values, put those into list 2, so I've already done that on my calculator. So the explanatory variable is in list 1, the response variable is in list 2. You can go to stat and tests, and if you scroll down close to the bottom, you will see linear regression t-test. There we go, the linear regression t-test. So as I said, the explanatory variable is in list one, the, res the uh, response variable is in list two. Here, we're looking for evidence, as we see here, evidence of a linear relationship. So that's a two-sided alternative. If there's no linear relationship, the slope would be zero. We're looking for evidence of a linear relationship. So we simply need evidence that there is a slope that exists in the real relationship. So this is a not equal to alternative. So I'll highlight calculate and that should confirm the t-score. There's the negative 2.144 and there's the p-value of 0.1214. Again, entering the data into your calculator and using the command isn't nearly as important as being able to look at a table of linear regression data and picking out the t-score and the p-value that go with the slope estimates so that you can complete your test.